friends and welcome to Obsidian Soft. In today's MIT App Inventor tutorial, I will teach you a simple and easy way of writing to a Google Sheet that is a spreadsheet program like Microsoft Excel from an MIT App Inventor app. First of all, we need to create a Google Sheet. So create one by going to this link. Click on the plus button. So a new sheet has been created, a spreadsheet. Just rename this one to students data. Okay, now go to this menu and from tools, click on create a new form. Sometimes you may have a required question for email address already here. So in case you have it, you go to settings, you go to defaults, in this form defaults, choose the choices and then you have collect email addresses by default. So make sure that this is do not collect. So coming back to the questions, we need to change the questions to the kind of data coming in from our MIT App Inventor app. I already have a question here, so just change this to name and make sure that this is short answer here, okay? And then we make this required and add another question, make this age, again, make sure that it is short answer, okay? And this is also required. So we have two questions, name and age, and both require a short answer. Now go to MIT App Inventor, go to project, start a new project. Let's call it students data. Okay, and drag and drop from layout, a horizontal arrangement, make the height 10%, make the width fill parent. Okay, and make align horizontal center, align vertical center. So I will be just designing a basic screen for sending the data to our Google Sheet. Okay, so I just need a label here. So this is the name label. Okay, and it says name colon and we need a text box where the user provides the name, again rename. Okay, and just duplicate this horizontal arrangement, control C, control V for Windows, make sure it is selected. And for Mac OS, command C, command V. So it has been duplicated, just change it accordingly for age. Now we need a button for submitting data. Okay, so just rename it to submit button, change the text on it to submit, okay? And last but not the least, we need from connectivity, this web component. So this is for contacting the Google Sheet and sending data there. So our basic screen design is done. So let's go to the block section. When our submit button is clicked, we want to send whatever the user has provided in the name text box and the age text box to our Google Sheet that we have already created with a form in it, okay? Now go to web and get its set URL block. And we are going to put a join in it from text. And I need more slots in it, so click on the cog wheel and add three more, so a total of five slots, okay? Now, follow me very carefully, okay? Not very complicated, but it has to be followed exactly the way I am doing it, okay? So go back to the form that you created using spreadsheet. If you accidentally closed it, okay? So then you can open up your spreadsheet and go to tools again and click on manage form and then click on edit form and that form will be opened up again, okay? I have my form already open, so I don't need to click on this link, okay? So just open up this form. Now click on these three dots next to the send button, okay? And then 
choose this option of get pre-filled link. Okay, so just click on it and a new window will open up in your, in your browser. So just copy the address for this new window. Okay, so this docs.google.com slash forms until pre-fill. Okay, just copy it. Okay, and go back to your code and put in a text block here in the first slot and just put it in there, okay? And just to replace the word prefill, don't remove the slash, just replace the word prefill by form, F-O-R-M, then capital R, E-S-P-O-N-S-E. Form response exactly this way. Okay, so this is important. Now we need something more from our student's data form. So just go back there. Okay, and you can see that it says that pre fill responses then get linked. So what we want to do is we are going to put in some values here and we want to get a link for it because we need some IDs of this name and age, entry IDs. Okay. So I'm going to write down obsidian and I'm going to write down 100 here. I'm not 100 years old, but in any case, then press this get link button. Okay. And then copy the link here. Okay. So copy it and it has been copied to your clipboard. So open up some text software and paste it there. Okay. So don't be overwhelmed by this thing. What we are interested in are only this entry.codes, okay? So this and entry dot some number is equal to obsidian and entry dot some number is equal to 100. So we need this in our code, okay? So if I just copy this part until equal to, so starting from and and going up to equal to, so just copy it and go back to your code and inside the next text block, just paste it here, okay? And another thing that I need to do is that I'm going to replace only for this first entry, only for this entry, I'm going to replace the and by question mark, okay? And what will come here? As you can see that it was obsidian, so whatever the user had provided in the form. So in our case, it will be whatever is inside our name text box, okay? So just go and get the name text box dot text. Now, what will come here? Again, we need the code for our age field, okay? So go back to our place where we had copied it, okay? And I'm going to actually increase the size of it a bit. So, so this was for the first part and this is for the second part. So just copy this exactly this way without the value 100 that I had provided, okay? So and starting from and and up till equal to sign. So just copy it. Again, we need a text block. Okay, let me increase the size of it a bit and paste it here okay so this is the second entry okay so here in for the first entry we change it by question mark but not for the second entry so make sure that you don't change this to question mark only change the first one okay the one that was coming after form response okay and this will be our age text so I can duplicate it and get that we have set up the URL for our web component and we are now just going to call the procedure from web call web1.get so that's it okay and this will send the data and store it in the spreadsheet i hope you like this class and found this method of writing data to a google sheet super easy if you haven't subscribed to my channel kindly do so so that you don't miss any of the great projects that i have planned for you Thank you for watching my class. Have a good day and goodbye.